Welcome everyone to the 2019 edition of the Springfield Christmas Parade. Alongside Lauren Barnes, I'm Joe Morano from Daybreak and Lauren, a lot of fun on tap for today. It's a big day for Springfield. This Christmas parade has been happening for more than seven decades. We have a lot to show you. Bands, choirs, schools, community members, and it's going to be good. Just very fitting with the holiday feel that you've had around Springfield for quite some time and we bring it all home with Santa later on, right? That's right. And us here at Colorton and Ozarks Fox are so excited to be donating our time and talent to bring you the Springfield Christmas Parade from the comfort of your very own home. This portion of the broadcast of the 2019 Springfield Christmas Parade is brought to you in part by Spring Valley Veterinary Hospital and Happy Tales Doggy Day Care and Boarding. And without further ado, let's get to the parade. Hey! Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> hey, I want <like> you. <laughs> The 2019 Downtown Springfield Christmas Parade kicks off with the Springfield Police Department. The department is an accredited law enforcement agency and actually comprised of an authorized strength of 362 sworn officers and 81 civilian employees. And of course, we thank them for their service. We sure do. You can see following the Springfield Police Department is the Color Guard, Rescue Specialist Jeffrey Butler, Equipment Operator Daniel Spates, Equipment Operator Thomas McCoy and Firefighter Brady Warmington. And Springfield Fire Department Engine 8, a new 2019 KME Panther style fire engine. That engine is equipped with hose lines, 750 gallons of water, and it has a compressed air foam system to aid fire extinguishment. The apparatus is scheduled to be placed in service at Fire Station 8 on South Scenic in late December. It's certainly a beauty to see right there. It's moving downtown here. It has some reindeer antlers going on, and I think it got a car wash. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that. It looks nice and shiny red. Nice and shiny and, and very sleek. Very nice. Up next, the Missouri State Highway Patrol. Look at this. The 1959 Dodge Coronet shown today proved to be a valuable enforcement tool for the patrol. All equipment on this vehicle is original from that time period and it's driven today by Trooper Sam Carpenter. How about that look? I like it, retro. That probably was very fashionable in the 50s as well, right? I wonder what kind of criminals they caught with that car in the 50s. <laughs> <laughs> very good to see and very spruced up. This is the 1993 Mustang that you see. It was in service with the patrol from 93 to 96, but it's been restored to its original condition with all period correct equipment. This Mustang's now owned by Corporal Jason Cornett, who is driving, and he did all the work by himself. I'm not a car guy. I'm glad he's got that car knowledge because it looks nice. My goodness, talk about a useful hobby. <laughs> Very much so. And following up is the 1966 Ford Custom 500, which was used in Troop D. This was the first year for the patrol to have air conditioning and an electric siren, Lauren. This vehicle is driven by Trooper Terry Bible, who is also the owner. That 66 Ford Custom 500, not bad. And full of presents in the back. And up next right now, we've got the official Downtown Springfield Christmas Parade banner. It's being carried by members of the Springfield Roller Girls. The Springfield Roller Girls began their 13th season this year. They're continuing to grow the league, of course, very intense. They're putting it to new heights. Always visit them online, though, at SpringfieldRollerGirls.com to see when they play. We also have coming up right now the Grand Marshal. Mary Cromrie is the executive director for Ozark Greenways. Ozark Greenways' mission is to build a trail system that connects and enhances the community. Cromrie encourages everyone to explore downtown without a car. Quote, our downtown is full of public art, tasty treats, great shows, and shops full of friendly people. She says, Mary and the Ozarks Greenways staff wishes everyone a happy holiday season. Penmax Staffing is proud to be the presenting sponsor of this year's parade, celebrating Christmas time in the city with downtown Springfield. You know, for more than three decades, Penmac has had the privilege to work with thousands of dedicated employees and businesses. Penmac is sending its warm winter wishes as the team hands out candy and gloves for everyone today. All right? Important to have that and stay warm, right? You have to have fingers that are warm and capable of eating the candy. Yeah, unwrapping that stuff is it's what's not needed easy right if there. the fingers are too cold. <laughs> They're adorable too in their little Santa hats. Of course. <laughs> great to see the, the families on board right there taking part today. Following up, Penmac will be the mayor of Springfield and City Council. Mayor Ken McClure and members of City Council arrive in style in a float that actually floats. 
<laughs> the city has partnered with Bass Pro to celebrate the season in style with a reminder of our nearby lakes and amazing outdoor amenities. Thank you to Bass Pro for providing this beautiful pontoon boat for the city to ride on in style at this year's parade. Ken McClure certainly knows how to show up to a parade, I tell you. He knows how to wear a top hat, too. <laughs> I got to give that to him. Very much so. This is a 1953 antique Divco delivery truck brought fresh by Highland Dairy. And the Highland Dairy Company used this to deliver products to Springfield family homes back in the 50s. Highland Dairy is wishing everyone a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Following Highland Dairy is Convoy of Hope, a faith-based international humanitarian relief organization here in Springfield. Celebrating its 25th anniversary, Convoy of Hope has served more than 126 million people worldwide through children's feeding initiatives, community outreaches, and disaster services. In the parade today, there are three vehicles. All right, you hear that noise. It is time for the Kilties right now, Lauren. Love the Kilties. The Central High School Kilty Drum and, Drum and Bugle Corps right here, directed by Angie Groven and Heidi Hardy in its 94th year. Let's take a listen. Ninety-four years of this, Lauren. I love that, and I love that they wrapped some of the bugles in tinsel. Got to keep those pipes warm. Uh, very much so. <laughs> so festive, and I can't believe they have folks that know how to bagpipe. Oh right? yeah, <laughs> you got to pass that generation and the history of the tradition down. Very much so. The Kilties are giving a warm welcome and way to the Infinity Racing Speed Skating Team. Infinity Racing got its start in 2016 and is an inline and quad speed skating team based out of Skateland. Happy holidays from Infinity Racing. Up next, we have the KY3 First Alert Fleet, consisting of the news production van, of course, the KY3 Storm Tracker car and KSPR Storm Mode car. KY3 is wishing its season's greetings to you and yours out there in Springfield. Look at those flags. This is the Central High School Marching Bulldogs, directed by Chris Rohrbaugh. We have the Marching Bulldogs from Central High School delighting us with sounds of the holiday season. Shout out to these kids walking out here in the cold with these instruments. Not easy. Not easy to perform to begin with, but you're right. Keeping warm and then entertaining everyone out there as well. Very fun to see them. Hopefully some of those Santa hats are at least keeping their ears warm. I would hope so. And I like the fashion choice of the Santa hats all around. Very fitting for this, of course. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 